Yeah. So it's been ages since I made a video because, well, it's been boring. There's not much happening in this game. Um, I mean, we did get Caradoon, who's trash. I mean, she's trash, right? Can't really find any way to use her, use her in a uh, rebel team or a um, bounty hunter or scoundrel team. Now, Grief Cargo, who works really well as a bounty hunter, support all of the assists and. Um, um, counter attacks as well as health and protection recovery very good and the Mandalorian who obviously annihilates so that's nice but Panic Hunters have been historically a okay team a very a good team I would say so um not the most exciting thing in the world other than that I mean we still have um Grand Arena and well it's 3v3 right now so it's gonna be a whole mess and I know I have someone in my um matchup no someone had a ray and i know someone who has a galactic legends kylo was the um ultimate so that's not going to be fun but other than that it's galactic legends farming and i'm just gonna go to my resistance i used to have a whole squad tab say for um to to remember to uh, uh god damn it to remind me which characters i need to um work on and all that but <clears throat> excuse me at this time like I have most of them ready Hodo BB-8, Fimpo, Risen Trooper, Ray, Ray, Rose are all at the level they're supposed to be at I am a little bit away from getting Resistance Pilot to Gear 13 I use some of the Chirotex on um, Resistance Hose so um and I do need a lot of those so that's why I didn't bother um, saving those for um, her but she's almost on uh, gear 13 and once I get her to gear 13 I can immediately just straight up get her to relic 3 and it's going to be a waste. Veteran Smuggler Chewy has been pretty helpful in a JTR team so that's actually kind of nice. I am getting those pieces for him and the same those pieces for this stuff and he needs the same piece as Resistance Pilot. So um, after I'm done with her um, he'll be very fast and I would assume by the time I um, get Resistance Pilot and Chewbacca both to Gear 13, I will have enough Relic materials to get him straight to Relic, so, uh, Relic 3 as well. The biggest bottleneck so far has been uh, the Resistance hosts, Finn and Poe. Um, Poe is um, 5 stars now, Finn is only 4 stars, I haven't done any refreshes on him. I was kind of expecting the gearing to be a lot slower, I thought um, by the time I have these at 7 stars, will be roughly around the time where I gear them up. Well, as you can see, the last two are very close. They are both already geared 11, and they both need the Joy Collar which I'm farming. I do, I probably need to um, go back to farming stun guns, but now I'm doing um, Kairos, but they both need Kairos, so that's all right. And this is gonna be easy, I'm just gonna use my gold currency for that. So this has been, um, pretty easy honestly so it's it's coming along a lot faster than I expected as far as capital ships go um, I already have the Rattus at five stars so that's nice and I'm very close to getting the finalizer to five stars because you know after getting Ray uh, unlocked and maxed out and all that well probably before I even have her maxed out probably just finish her gear get her to gear 13 and I'm going to turn my focus to the first order who is, you know, extremely underdeveloped. I am close to getting all of them to gear 12, at least those ones. And I know I can get Hux to gear 12 without mm, getting him to 12, star, to 12 stars. Oh my god, can you imagine 12 stars? I don't have to get him to 7 stars and I can get him to gear 12, but don't really see a point of doing that right now. I do need to save some cuffs, I'm pretty sure. And other than that, I don't have a lot of characters I'm working on just because, you know, I can't. I would love to get, um, let's see, what characters I would love to see Gear 13. Count Dooku, which is a strange one, but I would love to get into Gear 13 just to um, help out my guild in Genosis Territory battles. For a Phase 4, the special Count Dooku and Separatist combat mission, I've got a 2 out of 2 ones and 1 out of 2 ones, so... I would like to get it 2 out of 2 consistently, that's going to be on the list. Droidica, for the same reason. Palpatine will be nice, and I, well, I guess I do need him for um, 
Kylo Ren anyway. And this nest will be nice for obvious reasons. On Genocean Soldier, he has a ship and also Genosis territory battles. Thrawn going fast to counter stuff. Easy to understand. Jolly will be nice. So I would like to make my Jedi counter to Grievous consistent because right now I frankly don't really dare doing that because there's a good chance that I might just fail miserably. L3, eh, eh, eh. Spear will be nice. I do want to get all my nice spirits to get 13 someday. Same goes with Zombie. Let's see, Poggle, for same reasons. Other Geos. R2 will be nice. There's just so many characters. I want to gear up and I can't. One pool will be fun, but I don't really need it. Uh, what Tambor Gear 13 will help with survivability. There's some characters I would like to get to Gear 12. Cat, well, not really. I'm, I, I can't really work on the Bounty Hunter missions yet because, well... Actually, I can. The big problem will be using Bosk, right, in uh, Arena. And don't you need to um, finish um, Light Side Hoth combat missions with IG-88 because it's currently bugged for Genosis. So, yeah, Bounty Hunters are going to have to wait. Karth and Canners, nah, they're so quickly outdated. And well, Gear 12 will be nice, will help me. Well, I probably don't need him because Grief, Karga, and the Mandalorian will take his place anyway, so never mind. Ezra will be nice as a Gear 12. First order officer and first order stormtrooper for obvious reasons. Um, I guess there's not that many characters I would I need to take to gear twelve, right? Resistance hosts for obvious reasons. Again, Vandor would be nice. Kira would be nice, but her gear is just atrocious. Yeah, so like because of how much the um, oh I have a lot of omegas. Because of how much the uh, Galactic Legends have fucked up the game and gear and priorities, I don't really like so many characters I would love to work on for fun, just has been completely annihilated, which is unfortunate. Um, shard farms, as far as shard farms go, <laughs> I, don't want I have a fully maxed out Shock T and clone teams, and I've been following the, um, um, the modding instructions, been following like step by step step-by-step -step analysis I haven't I think we've done it three times now I haven't got it once it's fucked up um, as far as starring goes as far as farming Visus Mara I just have been using um, the galactic bounties for her so that's fine Embo I mean no so after I'm, I'm farming Visus Mara I'm farming the Resistance host after um, I'm done with either of these guys I'm gonna go back probably in general Hux first probably and then Sis Trooper and everything else depends on where these three go right and I'm sure they're gonna be needed for Baba Yada so I will probably have be going to be forced to um, work on them especially Cara Dune. I wouldn't mind working on uh, Mandalorian or Grief Cargo but Cara Dune is gonna be a pain so that's it for characters as far as ships go so mostly are gonna be rarity by the way this is going to be something I'm very proud of, but every single ship has their um, reinforcement abilities maxed out, except for B for the Wyoming because I can't do it yet. But if, as far as rarity goes, I'm farming the Hyena Bomber, close to being done with that. So after I'm done with that, that will also go to either um, Sith Trooper or General Hux. I'm farming the Malevolence currently with my uh, GET2. I'm farming the Rattas and the Finalizers through their events, which... I think someone did the numbers in this cake a few years, right? So I'm not um, super worried about that because I can't. And the Y-Wing will have to wait. I still think it's a little overrated. It's not that great of a ship. It's going to be very, very good for light side Geonosis territory battle. So I'm probably going to have to be forced to do that as well, unfortunately. But it will be for the good of my guild. And I know how important that is. But right now, that's all there is. I'm probably going to do a separate video regarding Zetas and... You know, I, I I basically have 100 Zetas, but I'm saving for a Galactic Legends Ray. I have four right now, closing on to a fifth. I'm going to save six of them for uh, Ray, and I'll probably just throw them somewhere. I'm thinking maybe Veteran Chewbacca, because again, he's been really good, and I have the Resistance Cells. I have all the Zetas I truly need, so I can just start experimenting playing with things, because I don't care. I need to have some fun in this game, otherwise I will try to kill someone. Or myself, which is unfortunate. But um, that's everything that's been going on with me in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Kind of boring, honestly, but it is what it is.